खानसा खानसा then can the debacle prove to be a thorn in the side for former president Jacob Zuma while in office pay back the money pay back but his then political home the ANC went on a push in defense of its then leader at the time Zuma was haunted by the security upgrades at his homestead in Ganda which amounted to hundreds of millions of rands amongst the upgrades was a swimming pool that cost an arm and a leg which was referred to as a fire pool ANC members defended the construction saying it was necessary in case of a fire but the opposition did not take this line down we have seen that uh, what we, we we saw in the paper what we read in the paper uh, cannot be compared to what we've seen with our eyes the decisions that were taken were such that to build the most obscene and the most disappointing and the most disturbing waste of south africa's taxpayers money the matter was brought before the apex court then led by chief justice mohueng mohueng almost a decade later a u10 the current secretary general of the ANC Fiki Lembalula laying bare information to the surprise of many this as many way to see what action the party will take after Zuma's announcement that he will not be campaigning for the ANC but for a newly formed Umkhonto Esizo party in defense of our president we went to parliament and opened an ato committee and said a, a swimming pool is a fire pool People have lost their careers because of that thing. Ya a constitutional court. Ya is a voter in two two weeks time. Wabu yungwem wem get judgment and what better president where to what is not fit for office samnyameze political analyst dr tsikelelo breakfast has criticized the anc secretary general saying he should refrain from commenting casually on serious matters he says mbalula's remarks confirms that the anc had lied to the country so basically what he was saying is that the anc lied to the country which is quite unfortunate because they defended um Sholozi at the expense of 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 the country um and yeah i mean i'm sure that uh, senior leaders of the anc might uh, take a swipe at him in okay. private for saying that um in yeah. public but they should have never said that okay, uh, well, in the first place balula's comments come at the time when the anc is viewed as the most divided since the dawn of democracy this has been exacerbated by former president Jacob Zuma advocating for the newly formed Umkhonto Wesizwe political party even though he says he will remain a member of the ANC Ntanta Khatani SABC News Johannesburg well, if you've taken a look at Twitter, now called X, of course, you would have seen that uh, the Secretary General of the African National Congress, Sifigil Mbalula, has released a, a tweet or an X, uh, wherein he, 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 he says, Makabani, and we're going to put it up on the screen so you can see it. Um, he said, just in case someone wants to deliberately twist what the SG said about the ANC's involvement in the Nkandla debacle, let us um, uh, proactively explain both what he said and what he meant in context. The SG made general statements about how the ANC defended former President JZ when he was accused of corruption and other official misconduct connected with Nkandla. First, we must agree that it was the duty of the organization to fully understand the facts upon which the opposition party based their corruption accusations and charges uh, that followed before it could act. As such, the ANC, as the SG so eloquently argued, was duty-bound to impanel parliamentary structures to investigate the serious allegations or accusations. Such a move was precisely to protect the ANC president from being unfairly overrun by the malevolent uh, opposition what is important to expose here is that by offending the president due to uh, to affording the president due process of law uh, which was his right under our constitution the ANC was protecting its president the SG fairly reported that the matter was ventilated in the courts as it was supposed to be and the chips fell where the constitutional court said 
they should fall. I admit that ultimately as the SG also accepted that it became clear through the courts that enormous state resources were misappropriated to achieve the renovations in Nkandla. Once the Apex Court pronounced both its findings and its ruling on the matter, not a squeak came out of the ANC in defense of its president. The matter was resolved and the, and the, and, and the then president had to cough up the misappropriated funds. The ANC as a political party did not use its resources to satisfy any of the court judgment against the former president other than members of the opposition and sworn enemies of the ANC anyone who understood or interpreted the SG's remarks as in Mpumalanga as an admission that the ANC assisted abetted aided or attempted to assist abet or aid the former president in defrauding the government must have his or her head checked the remarks must also be understood as a political rally rhetoric and polemics the SG wished to underscore the importance of supporting the current president in ensuring that he too is not overrun by ANC enemies who are engaged in baseless, untested or unproven claims. He emphasized that His Excellency President Ramaphosa is, as did former President JZ during the Nganda debacle, entitled to due process of the law. The SG admirably stood for, firm on universal principles, i.e. should the courts find uh, His Excellency President Cyril Ramaphosa guilty of any misconduct related to Palapala, the ANC stands ready to act fearlessly. That's the tweet coming, having come out from uh, uh, the SG of uh, the uh, African National Congress. But this is what former President Jacob Zuma had to say in his defense of his Nkandla homestead. If you listen to our good friends, the opposition, hey, hey, I'm telling you, you can think you live in another world. You know, some people who could not pronounce Kanja, they've now learned Nkanja, Nkanja, Nkanja. <laughs> Even if you tell them the Kanja report is being processed is going to come. I mean, three investigations have been made. Nkandla, even if we are discussing very serious matters, a man stand up, point of order. Yes, Nkandla. Tick, was a church cock. Hey, hey, hey.